Today we will look at how data loaders operate during distributed training, such as distributed data parallelism, and especially when using Hugging Face Accelerate or the Transformers Trainer. In a typical situation, without any special care performed to the data loader, the same data will be sent through each sampler on each GPU, and as a result, the same samples are then spit back out onto each GPU process. This is extremely inefficient training as each version of the model on each GPU is being sent the exact same data. To combat this, Accelerate employs one of two different sampling methods which wrap around the original sampler of the data loader, but then spread the data across multiple GPUs depending on which setting is enabled. The first method is sharding the dataset before drawing by knowing which indices to grab. These are done through the iterable dataset shard class and batch sampler shard class. The second method works by drawing enough samples to send a batch to every GPU from one of the processes, then dispatching them to their respective GPUs. This is done through the data loader dispatcher class. To understand the next part fully, let's quickly define two terms we're going to use going forward. First, we have batch size, and then we have what is called global batch size. Batch size is what number of items is being seen on each individual GPU at one time. Whereas global batch size is the total number of items seen across all of the GPUs at one time. So for example, if we had a dataset of 64 items, 8 GPUs, and a batch size of 8, Every step would go through the entire dataset at one time, as 8 GPUs times a batch size of 8 is 64 items. Now let's look back at our sharding example. In this case, since we are essentially splicing the dataset between each GPU, the model's weights can be averaged during the backward pass across all of the GPUs. And so as a result, performing a single iteration through the dataset is sped up at a scale that increases as more GPUs get involved. I'd also like to quickly mention how shuffling works. When shuffling is enabled, the same methodology used before at the data loader and data set level from the original samplers will be applied, as this is a separate step to when we pull and split a batch between GPUs by the new samplers. Now let's talk about the data loader dispatching method. When using this, all of the GPU's batches of data are drawn first from the data set loaded on the first GPU, then it's split up and sent out to all of the other GPUs afterwards. Because of this, dispatching is generally slower and not recommended if possible, as it requires a synchronization between all of the GPUs when sending the data out. However, this can be especially useful in situations such as low RAM and not being able to have multiple copies of the dataset loaded into memory at one time, or when you're streaming a dataset that has strict concurrent access policies. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has helped in understanding some of the methods used for data loaders when performing distributed training. I've linked to the source code for this animation in the description, and you can also find links to Accelerate's documentation and the GitHub repo as well. If you have suggestions on what other areas of Accelerate could use an educational tutorial like this, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks again.